Hi, I'm Eric Sim, founder of Institute of Life. Today, I've invited my friend Ray Pang to join me in creating a video CV and a video bio. Ray is a film director and media trainer. Welcome to my home studio, Ray. Thank you for having me, Eric. So I'll be sharing three basic tips on how to shoot and edit the video with your smartphone. And I will show you how to create and script your content. The five steps into making a video CV or bio are Number one, content and scripting Number two, record your audio Number three, shoot your video Number four, make your slides Number five, editing and put everything together If you have never recorded your video, you are going to feel weird when you hear yourself for the first time It will take you about five times before you can accept your own voice I refuse to watch my own 2016 TEDx talk until about three years later. Choose three to five points to talk about yourself. Assuming now I'm making a video to pitch for a speaking gig, I will highlight number one. In 2019, I was on LinkedIn Spotlight list for writing valuable content for my two million followers. Point number two, previously when based in Hong Kong, I was the MD at UBS Investment Bank and adjunct associate professor of finance at Hong Kong UST. Point number three, I've spoken at more than 100 events in the last five years. But these are just features. In our video CV or bio, we want to make it a little bit different from our CV by including the benefits of hiring us or engaging us. I will add two benefits. Number one, I will help you attract attendees to your event. In July this year, CFA Institute engaged me to give an online speech on personal branding. I help attract more than 1,000 attendees across APEC, Middle East and Europe. Not only am I going to engage your client with interesting content, but also with high quality production. I will use a live production switcher like this and two cameras, one of which is down here like this. Lightings as well as professional microphone. But this is still not good enough. We need a story. It is a good idea to have a story in your CV and bio to make it memorable for the viewer. Stories need not be long, but they need to have three elements. Number one, setting, which is the background. Number two, conflict, the problem. Number three, resolution, the happy ending. My story is such. 20 years ago, I applied for a PhD in Princeton, and they sent me this letter. Unfortunately, we cannot offer you a place at this point but we'll put you on waiting list. 20 years later, I'm still waiting. During these 20 years, I went into banking and teaching. So that's my story. Now we have features, benefits, and story. So script it out and record just your audio for practice. After that, once you're comfortable with your audio, you can then proceed to shoot a video. And I'll ask Ray to show us how to do that. Tip number one, location. You want to find a quiet location with good lighting. My suggestion is to shoot in the day, go near to a window. You want to face the window and let the sunlight fall on you. Declutter the background if it's too messy. Try to add a practical lamp behind you. This will actually give you a nice separation like this one. Tip number two, setting up the camera and the framing. Make sure your smartphone is static you don't want to handheld it. If not, it will be too shaky. Get a smartphone holder or a mini tripod. They're usually very affordable. If your tripod is not high enough, stack it with books. You want to keep an eye level with your lens. You don't want to do a slight low or high angle. Low angle usually makes you feel a little big and sometimes a little majestic. While high angle makes you feel small and sometimes inferior. When presenting yourself, you want to remember to look straight into the lens. You do not want to be too close to your camera. Move back a little and give some headroom, which is space above your head. Lock your focus and set the exposure that you are comfortable with. You can do this by pressing and holding it down on the screen on your face. Scroll up or down to adjust the exposure. By doing this, you have a consistent exposure. Tip number three, editing. A well-rehearsed presentation may not need much cut or edit, but if somehow there are too many stammers in between your lines, you can actually tighten the sequence. 
I'm recommending Adobe Premiere Rush. Firstly, it's free to download onto your smartphone and your desktop. Next, you can actually export the first three sequence for free. I'll do a simple and quick demo. First, you want to import the videos that you have shot. Then, you want to fix or enhance your audio before you start cutting them. Select the audio functions. If you have noisy and echoey audio, you can reduce it with the two functions. You may also want to click O2 volume to quickly enhance the volume if it's too loud or too soft. Next, you can start to slice or cut the stammers with the scissors function. You can delete the piece that you don't need with the trash bin function. After you're happy with the sequence, you can then add text such as the intro of a name at the beginning of the video, positioning it at the lower third of the screen. Lastly, add a call to action text at the end of the video, such as, I look forward to work with you. Three advanced bonus tips. Number one, you may want to download an app called the Filmic Pro to isolate the direction of your microphone in your smartphone. Number two, invest in a condenser mic or the lavalier mic for better audio quality. Number three, add subtitles. I know this is a tedious process, but it will help your viewer understand you better than relying just on the audio dialogues. For those who are camera shy, I recommend a platform called Animoto. I'm Ray Pang, and I hope this is useful for you. I'm Eric Sim. Tell us what you hope to see in our next video.